That's right. They don't need to change. I thought that they would get in uh, with another spinner there, but they haven't decided to do that. They've gone in with Ajit Agarkar. Good record there. Great strike rate and in form. I thought that was a great record. 34 50s, 800, strike rate of 92.1, best being 154, an average of 35 for a wicket keeper. I think that's a bonus. And I'll bear for, for close and put the gloves on all the time. Hayden averaging 43. And they certainly were in good form, both at Gwalior and at Taridabad. Big challenge to this left hand end. Let's see if he can swing Ala Bracken at Taridabad. And we are ready. Zahir Khan to Adam Gilchrist. Oh, what a good start as well. The roar in our commentary box is just echoing around here. No ball, and this could be four league buyers as well. Well, no signal from umpire Jaya Prakash, so there must have been a little bat in that. That's well, a five, four runs, and that one for the no ball. That's a very poor delivery. Trying to move it into the left-hander. Not the right line. I think the front shoulder dropping a little too early, and that was a no ball. It's a right call from umpire Jaya Prakash. That one's on the money. They steal a quick single. Good Chris hurries. And Gook is at mid on, misses with a throw. I think he was safe in any case. But there's a run off the bat. I think he's got his alignment wrong, Zahir Khan. Got it right this time. But now he's struggling. A fast bowler holding the ball cross seam. Goes to say that he's short of confidence. Zahir Khan to Matthew Hayden. And that's it, this could be out, he's struck! Well, what an opening over! One for nine of two deliveries, that is astonishing! That's an absolutely stunner. Stunner of a delivery to the man who's just broken the world record, scored 380 against Zimbabwe. He's put his heart into this one. And it's very rare to see an Australian fending to a bouncer, Henry. Matthew Hayden gone for a duck, nine for one Australia. Earlier in the year, in comes Ricky Ponting, the Australian captain, under pressure now. The fourth legitimate delivery of the opening over. And this time it's on the money. Let's just have a look at that Hayden dismissal. A golden duck. A world record holder. And just finning, you see that so rarely from Matthew Hayden. Likes to get on the front foot. The balls that are short of a length, but that one really did stand up. And this is in the air as well, but safe for a moment. I thought that was going out towards Harley's in a square leg. They come back for two. Ajita Gaga had a good chase around the fine leg fence. I don't know whether Virinda Sehwag is a good idea. It's a good idea to have a spinner on. Sehwag has 35 wicket. He's only allowed two men outside the catching circle positions. Your Chris cuts, that'll be four. And that's the penalty you pay for perhaps not having Harbison on here and having Sehwag on and the field up inside the circle. Well, if that was the idea to bowl spinners in the first first two overs, I think they should have had the third spinner in the team. And maybe Rahul Dravid keep in this match instead of Pathak Patel. You've got to play according to the situation, according to the circumstances. And I think if you have this idea in your mind that you're going to have a spinner bowling the second over, you've got to have your third spinner in the side. No ball. No ball. Well, the sun is adding up already. That's criminal, really. Spinner bowling a no ball, but then there's pressure on Virendra Sehwag. He's gone for a boundary already. 
Gilchrist pulls. There's a man out in the deep, but he went the wrong way. Agarko is out there. He went to his left a couple of steps. I'm not sure whether he would have cut it off anyway, but he moved to his left. The ball was 25 metres away to his right. I think Rahul Dravid has gone the wrong way. He's thrown the ball up to Virendra Sehwag, which should have gone to her Bhajan Singh or uh, Anil Kumle. Both of them played pretty well at Gwalior against the Australians. They put the brakes on. On the back foot again, four again, and this may be a short-lived experiment. I thought it was VVS Lakshman's birthday, not Adam Gilchrist. Three gifts in this over so far to Adam Gilchrist. I thought VVS Lakshman turned 29 today. He's gift wrapped a couple, dropped them short. There's no sweeper on the deep cover fence. That's where you normally, someone turning away from the left-hander, you have someone out there. The short ball concedes a single, but not in the second over of the match. That's in the air. That could be another four. No. It bounced on the practice wickets, and Harbridge and Singh had to be very careful. He didn't get a bad bounce down there. Tell you what, Virinda Sehwag is look, looking a little tense here. He shouldn't be because he's the opening batsman. He can come and hit around and score some runs. So he should be relieved of the pressure of bowling from here to try and flight the ball and pitch it up. He's gone for three boundaries in this over of short deliveries. Two cuts and a pull. Catch it. And this one turns. End of the over, 26 for one. Well, ball, but I can't know. Well, I come back for two. That's good running. Three to the Australian title. Gotta keep your rhythm constant. That's why. Lashed. No result. The real murderer, Adam Gilchrist. There's a plenty of pressure on Zahir Khan. This one's up wide and pounded. Very dangerous player now. This wasn't over pitch at all. Just leans into that one. There she goes. Give me room, I'll send it to the boundary. They're better bowlers with old ball. Play not hit there. There's no fine leg. And Harbinton seems to have work to do. Does he make it? Oh, I'll we'll have a look at that. On the face of it, a superb piece of fielding. I don't think he uh, got it right there. No, that's a boundary because uh, his, the ball was in his hand when he was touching the rope. It's a good effort from Harbhajan Singh. But four runs for Australia. And uh, Neil Mallander's two ways working and he gives Jaira Cash the sign. It's a four. Great effort from Harbhajan Singh. Deserved to say that. Oh, wide again. This time might be cut off. It is. Miranda Saywag, who's already had an interesting first over. He saved another boundary. For sure he saved another boundary. Now what does uh, Zahir Khan do here? Oh, that just misses leg star, maybe off the pad. Toddy comes back for two. Let's go wild throw. No, it runs again. 40 for one. That's the inside edge. Wicketkeeper not being able to latch onto that one. I thought that was the pad. Can't really make out very clearly here. And as Maninda Singh, quite rightly called, is now Harbhajan Singh, the front line spinner. About there, Miss Field. I've taken a couple of fingers off. I get to because. Sayweg has to come in 20 metres. Pull in the air. Ajit Agaka is a man out there. They think it too, they don't come back. They just settle for the one. Well fielded. 43 for one. Man, very dangerous. 
shot delivery, wanting to cut, beaten completely. But there was room for Adam Gilchrist there to get another boundary. Across the seam again. Certainly not the best use of the new ball. Tahir Khan and Ajit Agar could bowl better at Gwalior with the older ball. In the air, safe. Beats third man, another boundary. And this may well be the end of the spell with Zahir Khan. He's got two balls left, but can see 30 runs already. <laughs> Forget the third man, it was hit so hard it would have beaten the fourth man as well. <laughs> Really, really gives it Adam Gilchrist. Puts it hard. Really, his 36 have come in boundaries. That one's it away. Great feeling for Ender Sewag. That saved another boundary. It's a no ball, unfortunately, for Zahir Khan. But well, that was a terrific save. Well, I think uh, this should be the last over of Zahir Khan's first spell. 2.5 overs, 32, 2.4 overs, 32 runs and a wicket. Phenomenal cricket. That's full driven and four. It continues to be phenomenal cricket here. Australia 54 for one. A prolific run scorer goes straight up, getting on duck. Plays uh, no part when Adam Gilchrist approaches just uh, with his own plans. There's plenty of help for the bowlers. Adam Gilchrist has got them off track at the moment. Yeah! Push through in the air and he's taken it. Mohamed Kaif has taken a brilliant catch. And it's also a priceless catch because the man departing is Adam Gilchrist. Well, it had to take an amazing effort. And Mohamed Kaif, simply outstanding back himself a little bit too underneath of the bottom hand and it's the magic man Mohamed Kaif he's wrapped so are his teammates Damon Martin is the number four batsman for Australia with an impressive batting record and so much has happened in the space of just six overs Harbhajan Singh in his fourth over picked up the important wicket at Adam Gilchrist and also kept the run down Pushed it gently into the gap. Uh, slight fumble, but no harm done. Oh, as he hurt his finger there, Harvajan Singh. Three men around the bat, waiting for the bat pad. No point. So that's four. That's good cricket from Damon Martin. Quick to spot that length that was slightly short. And because there's spin and bounce, it allows you to play these shots. Hardly release, but just too short. Too wide. Abhijan Singh. Right up the alley. And down the track, no run. 70 for two, Australia. There again, the length was short and he's been punished. The point I was trying to make earlier with Midon, Midoff inside the circle, the spinners aren't quite uh, confident enough to keep the ball up. Boy, but no. Ricky Ponty. Boy, but no. Little Ian Harvey almost bowling one of the best one day spells ever. Another two runs. Sachin Tendulkar in the deep won't be able to prevent that second. They know there is something for the spinners, so they just want a, a little more of uh, an option. They use the pitch. That should be four. It's rolled on to the practice pitches. Once it does that, there's no chance for the fielder. But this is turning out to be an expensive over. Already 12 runs scored. No, you've got to love this. 85 for two. Eleven and a half overs. Ponting showing some ominous signs. Trying to get back into form. Bit of time at the wicket. Missed out in the last couple of digs. 
today. Can he make it count? There's a big shout. Is he given? Neil Mullender, not impressed. And Craig just studied the expression of Ricky Ponting and he's trying to say, what is all that about? Big turn again for Harbhajan Singh. No, oh, no, just flicking the thigh pad. That was my first reaction. That uh, angle, it gives you an impression it may have come off the clouds, but my first impression, that first replay was it came off the thigh pad. So, 12 overs gone, 86 for 2. That's a bad sign. Uh. Not quite timed well enough, but one bounce, couple of bounces into the long one fence. So, Ricky Ponting is getting better and better. Well, he's made up his mind here, Sanjay Mandraka. It's going to be slightly flighted. He's going to get out of the blocks. And the spinners. Certainly that little bit of extra pace from Kumble. Plenty of drama in a short span of time. 93 for two. Ajit Agarkar for the first time in this innings has been given the ball. Yeah, good fist to bowl on for anybody. It's going to be dual paced. And he's given him. He has given him other first strikes. And that's another important wicket. The run rate has been good, but the Indians has shot thrice. This is the third wicket to go for Australia. And a big one. Ricky Ponting, the man who is looking good. Well, once again, a roll driver's bowling changes take effect. Yeah, it's hitting the leg side ish, but it's a long way across. Probably would have picked up leg stump, pointing out for 31. Australia 93 for 3. Andrew Simons comes to the crease to replace his skipper, pointing out LBW. This one pointing was really moving the long way along. Played a cross one. Very straight one, I've got to say. Missed it. It was out. That's close as well. Certainly zeroed in on the stumps with his first four balls. He's been really on the money, Agaka. Just the small margin since you're out, rather if you had him been playing forward, probably not out. But I think that's a good decision. Simon drives, doesn't beat the field. They get through for a single. Mohammed Keith is on fire. He's quite remarkable. Athletic. One of the better fielders, the fittest guy is in the Indian team. He stops many runs. That's the crucial one. Especially towards the end of the over. You don't want to be going for runs as a bowler. They need this kind of support, the Indian bowlers. Slow delivery to end the over. 94 for 3. There'll probably be two in this. There's a lot of territory out there behind Square Leg Unmanned. In the air, safe. There was nothing defensive about the way Andrew Simons plays. And that'll pose more questions for drama. Well, the 15th over in progress, so the last over for the Australians to take any chance. No! I overheard a conversation, Henry, no! from the airport in Gwalior. That's the line. No! And you hit them a lot straighter, you have a better chance, like on the previous occasion. Trying to play anything square of the pitch for Anil Kumble. It's pretty dicey. The first 50 is an explosive one. And Adam Gilchrist looking to take the game away from the Indians. Over the top once again. Another boundary to end the over. It's 104 for three. Here he goes. This time he just strays on the leg stump. He's got some protection out there.
little bit of pace there. Uh, hits the green bits. It'll do that. Bending his back a little more. After picking up a wicket in his first over, more confidence, surprise. Really did surprise Andrew Simons there. Gradually increasing in pace, Ajit Agarkar. The last one was pretty quick. That beats the field again. And the sweeper is very square out there. The genuine cover drive, the sweepers out uh, to a deep cover point. Now loose, looking in great touch, Andrew Simons. Just the margin of error, a little bit of width on the fuller side. Watching his ball, watching the ball onto his bat. He can strike the ball very hard. Three boundaries already. Good return for Ajit Agrikar as well, the slower delivery. Dripping onto the surface. Well, trying to hit that through the covers. Oh, another big piece out of the wicket. Well, uh, Ajit Agaka may well be advised to bowl every ball like that. What's the point of bowling seam up? You get hit through the covers, it comes on. As well, a lot of slower balls, a lot of cutters. He does. Exactly what you've got to do on this pitch. This might be a leg by, may have taken a bit of bat. Neil Ballander says bat. 110 for three. Puff of dust coming out again. And the extra bounce too. The hero of Bombay, the master of Mumbai. It comes through our earpieces in the concrete box and I had to take mine out because the noise was too deafening. Total off cutter. And again, that's a perfectly time. Wow. Not easy to time the ball like that off the slower bowlers. Stunning silence in the ground every time they score a boundary, and this was a classic. Leaning into the ball. Yeah, it could be another wide. It is. Well, one thing with Sachin is they could be right arm dangerous and get quite a few wickets, or right arm expensive. Like his best figures were against Australia, 5 for 32 in Kochi, Sachin Tendulkar. Jagaka. Just been moving away. I've enjoyed his change of pace. Just uh, read a little bit in the local rag today. Oh, that's a lovely delivery. That's bounced. And had a nice bit of pace about it. He's very deceptive today. But Gucka, the odd one that really goes through and is using his brains, rolling off loft cutters. Really whipped that one at about 140 k's. Bit difficult one to chase. Gone over the top, didn't quite get a hold of it, but he'll get four. And he just backed himself here, Damien Martin, thought, well, this is going to be slightly up with a seam upright delivery he's, he's, you know, he's tried to get it to seem upright instead of bowling the off cut of a change of pace Martin's picked it well I thought if anything's slightly up it's going to go back over your head the bat turning in his hand but that didn't matter got enough of it got enough on it to get it to the boundary one more to the score 138 for 3 145 for three. Projected score. Rubar Singh, who has just been greeted with a Dorothy Dix over extra cover. That is a big six from the big fella Simons. That's an amazing shot. 
just a little bit of room outside the off stand. Just take a look at him inside out. Perfect follow through. Head very still. Look at the power he packs in those shots into the crowd. And that's over. Extra cover. Really getting your best bowlers at this stage, Danny. I don't know. I don't know what is going on in Robert's mind. But I would definitely have Harbhajan in here. Just look uh, from the skipper's perspective, Rahul Dravid is just wanting to rotate the bowlers. But, uh, Ajay Agarka had to have a break at some stage, got a good spell in, picked up the wicket of Ricky Ponting. But, uh, taking the pace off the ball. So uh, Tendulkar, uh, Yuvraj, the turn. Tendulkar can't uh, prevent that for a couple. But, yeah, I just think they are. In, you're taking the pace off the ball. We've seen how much the ball has been turning. Harbhajan five, is ball five. Kumble is ball six. I think one of those two is now warranted in this situation. Yes! Was in the air, but extremely well placed. That's four more. Now this is going to really, really hurt the Indians. It's already twelve off the over. Might have picked up cries of catch it. Certainly not going to catch that. Just so strong through the offside. And when you seen the first ball of this over go over extra cover for six. It's had a lot of cricket in England for Gloucestershire. Andrew Simons. So, I'm hitting sixes. Just so powerful through the offside, especially against the side. Just to leverage, get underneath them. That's well ball. Look at the amount of assistance there, and yet you can't get a hold of this Australian batting lineup. They're just getting runs at will. Got to be bowling on one side of the wicket. That's more the line that you want. The outside edge gets him two. It's already 14 off this over. Oh, that's gone a long way. He's disappointed the bowler. Morning. This is the line and the channel. 159 for three. Sawag has uh, just bowled the two overs for 17. You start to see these little premeditated shots, like these little lap dabs to the leg side. Prosperous couple. Oh, it's a lovely feeling. You've uh, seen he's at the bowling crease. And he's also diving around inside the circle. It's just the kind of commitment you need at this stage. Really to prop proceedings up a bit from the Indian perspective. Very well done there. He's pretty tight now, Virendra Sehwal. Just thinking about those feet all the time. You guys, very quick. The overthrows here. It's worth a go. It's the aggression in the field that India need. Yuvraj is one of those quick young men. Picks up cleanly and wants to take it on. Uh, direct hit. I think he would have been out of here, Simons. It's been in the game, Yuvraj. No doubt about that. Slightly too short. Uh, Comfort to get two. He finished the over. 29 gone. It's 170 for three. Yuvraj Singh to continue. He's into his third over. And a spot of fielding. Thank you, Danny. Another single added to the score. The run rate is splendid at the moment for Australia. And that's the problem for India. They managed to pick up the wickets, but how do they keep the runs down? How do they curb this aggression? of the Australian batsman. This is a partnership of 78 that's come in 99 balls and you're talking about a partnership in crisis. That's the problem. The team has been in trouble. They've scored briskly. Gotcha! Another full shot. It's gone up in the air. Harbhajan Singh should take it. New Rock Singh has struck for India. Another bowling change for Dravid has worked. The danger man, Andrew Simons, has been picked up.
Well, it has worked, but it's been working a little too late. 171 for uh, Australians, and they're in the 30th over. I think that's a very good total on the surface because this pitch looks supportive for the bowlers. Happy you brought in there. Lovely innings from Andrew Simons. 48, 171 for four Australia. Michael Bellum has uh, is in what he does normally when he comes into bat. He was sprints to get his legs warmed up. Another wicket picked up by India. Andrew Simon scored in the deep. It is again the bounce that beat him. The ball is stopping and coming onto the bat. So the bounce that beat uh, Simons. Another single. 172 for four after 30 or so. amazing on one end you've got Yuvraj Singh who's not a regular spinner who's trying to flight the ball bowl a little slower getting purchase off the surface and bubbly perhaps I think uh, hit the nail on the head whether he's recovered from that injury chip shot is it going to cross the boundary road comfortably in the end where the Sehwag doesn't get there in time a very skillful shot indeed by Michael Bevan well, what amazes me is that uh, the skipper never comes to the bowler to speak to him. There were a couple of skippers before Rahul Dravid who would come four times in an hour. Now this one just doesn't come. You've got to come and speak to your bowler. You know what the surface is. Try and tell him if he's not being able to read. The first boundary in 10 overs for Australia. It was through sharp turn. 13 overs to go. We're taken on the full. That's Martin's 50. Very useful one under the circumstances. Not the easiest of pitches to bat on. Came at a difficult time. 18th half century. Four boundaries in that for Damien Martin. Just allows you to be sensible and construct the innings. Australia needed someone. It's uh, really with the fell at nine, then 55, then 93. Goes over with a mid wicket area in the direction of turn good stop there by Miranda Sebag just happy to play this little chip shot very sneaky inside out wide of the man it's not extra cover and it's a boundary for Damien Martin and that also brings up the 200 for Australia Kaif Almost takes a uh, spectacular catch. It's a good effort, but all in vain. More like a goalkeeper trying to palm it round, considering the surface. Turn and difference in pace and bounce. Just like the way Chib, he's just got that sometimes a little flight and gone. It's a little bit slower, trying to get purchase on the ball. Bit of width here, nicely stroked by Bevin. And another boundary. Well, 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 a lot of pitch where the ball's doing all kinds of things. The Indians, especially the bowlers, have been struggling. Just sit on. Enjoying this from you, Raj Singh. There's a rank long hop outside off stump. Or Bevan. Lethal. Bowler? Not happy. Goes for the slog. As he found the gap. Brilliant effort in the deep. Devious Lakshman defender. 211 for four. Good effort by Devious Lakshman. Not the quickest of the Indian fielders. Harbhajan starts his last over. Bit of a disappointment in this game. Well, his figures actually might not suggest that he's been disappointing. He's gone for one for 40 in his 10th over. But this is the kind of pitch where he'd like to pick up three for 35. About 250, 260. It's going to be gettable. More than that if these two stay around for another five or six overs. And I see it just races away here at Wankiti. Quick outfield. No chance. Well, 23 fours and one six will tell you the number of loose deliveries that the spinners have bowled and most of the boundaries have come square of the wicket which means they've been short, they've been wide 
not too many in front of square. It's all the bad deliveries that's being put away. Ow! Much, much quicker there from Harbhajan. But these are signs of a bowler being very negative. That's a good delivery. But I uh, hear where you're coming from, Shiv. You sit up and hit me. And on Kumble. Again, just that little bit too much room. It's another good stroke from Damien Martin. He goes to 63. And in the same area as well. Sling there to be hit. We'll often find the bowlers being a little too reluctant to bowl on the fuller side. Over the top. And it's all the way. What a big hit this is. Brings up the 50 partnership as he decides to go downtown for half a dozen. It really is a sweet shot. Still didn't quite get all of it. And he just closes the face at the bottom hand. You now just tells you it all. Eyes light up like the full beacons. And this time he misses and so does Parthi Patel. A difficult take for the wicket keeper. And four more it will be. And signal buys. Fortune favours the positive on this occasion. He's down the wicket in his turn and he's missed it. The keeper's missed it. Young Patel. Very frustrating for the fielding side. It's gone all the way to the fence. Less than four. 229 for four. Well, he can be a dangerous player in the death, Michael Bevan. And perfectly the reason why. Coach John Wright pulling his hair out. It's uh, short and wide. But, uh, you've really got to start thinking about where you're going to bowl. Getting into the death overs because uh, you want to get that slower delivery happening. Change your pace. Don't give the batsman room to move. It's hit short, it's wide, and it's just meat and drink for Bevan. Loves it there. No chance for a Gaka. To the home side. And the uh, hometown fans are quite enjoying this. That's a classical shot. Might not find a cricketer playing it too many times. But absolute disdain. Touch of arrogance about it. Shows the nature of the surface. It's just too slow. Uh, didn't bounce that much, so good adjustment from Damien Martin. Just flat batted it down the ground. Nice bit of footwork there. Over cash. This has hit fairly well. The dance on. Saw him out last night on the dance floor, didn't you? Conditions are suiting him. Looking for two. Devin is pretty quick. Ajit Thakarkar has a good arm, but that doesn't prevent Michael Bevan from going for the second. The twilight sets in. In the south room again, no run. Sharp stuff. Emang Badani, the fielder, is substituting for Yuvraj Singh. He's a left-hander. Got a hundred against Australia. Once again, against the turn. Harbhajan, well, sloppy work in the end. And Anil Kumble is not going to like it one bit. Jan Singh did all the hard work. He's uh, gone down the wicket. Damien Martin, he's done all the hard work. He could have got the dive out, but yeah, that's feeble, I'm afraid. He's got there and he should have covered something with his body on this and then prevented the boundary. Have some commitment and the bowler. Face says it all. In the air. But Heyman Badani doesn't judge it well. And Anil Kumble, well, nothing going quite right for him. Martin picks up another boundary. Uh, the bowler and the skipper 
And they've got the full teapot on. Hands on hips. Now that is an understatement. Shiv. Top edge. It's there for the taking. And it's almost like he lost it, Badani. Yeah, he's out of position just slightly. He'd come in. Oh, he's a bit unlucky, really. He's always going away from it. Might be a bit harsh on the fielder. Ajit Agarkar getting some swing in that Yorker. Can't prevent the single. And some distinct swing there for Ajit Agarkar. Just opening up the match, uh, we talking to Danny Morrison and I said it's not just going to be 11 players against Australia, it's going to be 45,000 more behind the Indians. And from swing beaten, Michael Bevan. Piece of bowling, kind of missed off stump by much. Fairly disappointing. Arbhajan Singh will struggle to get there. It's another slash four from Michael Bevan. Four overs to go now. 261 for four. Square drive. Mohamed Kaif with a direct hit. Look at this partnership for Australia. 91 of 99 balls. Well, that would have been out. All that jump into you, Chris. You're allowed, but you won't be out. Let's see, in the air, going past. And Cave has been outstanding. Been patrolling the inner circle for much of the game. He's taken a good catch. And Damien Martin is a wonderful player. The shot that was. Waiting for the Yorker, he was and didn't look to hit it hard, but it's bent to the boundary. Well, the ball's soft. They have changed it once, but look at it, still dirty. Didn't try to hit it too hard. Knew where the long off was. And just aimed for the non-striker. Was sensible batting at first, and then later on, just an exhibition of uh, outstanding talent. Well done by Zahir Khan. A dot ball for India. Zahir Khan just about to complete his sixth over when he's conceded 57. Nearly 58. Have a look where Bevan is well outside leg stump. Big heave for Michael Bevan, it's a slow delivery, so Ajit Agar continuing his good work in this inning, he's in his 8th over, and just the 27 runs conceded. The off-spinner again, very orthodox off-spin, good wrist action on that one. You can see that the fingers, uh, the first three fingers, the thumb and the two top fingers used. Slow the pace and get the turn. Again the slow delivery, up in the air will fall safely and because it hasn't traveled quickly enough sweep a cover couple of runs that brings up the hundred partnership between these two and i think we should stop expecting applause from the mumbai yeah. crowd for oh, <laughs> these partnerships there was a couple out of the 45 there isn't it not just by the australian batting but the indian ball that, oh, it was almost through. Good so I think it too, they come back, or Martin had. He may have been in trouble. Well, good piece of feeling, and there's some applause. They can't get their hands out of their pockets. I think the crowd has changed over the years. I'm really surprised by the bias. You can see very clear. The Mumbai crowd was renowned for... Uh, low delivery. Don't have a good view of uh, that particular position from where we are. A couple of runs more. So two overs to go, 277 for four. 10 or 15 enclosures in one stadium named after cricketers of the past and present. 
I remember actually a ceremony being held before a test match. I think it was against the West Indies when that stand was opened up. They should be proud of him, Damon Martin. He moves on to 98. He's going to attempt the second. Quick ah! run. It's a good throw. And he's completed the 99th run. Well, I don't think Neil Mallon is uh, bothered with the third up. It's a good throw, but Martin turned very quickly. That's the key to getting home here. Direct hit was a problem. You hear the applause, Jeff? That's more like a Bombay crowd. That's, that's what we kind of expected here. Well, I spoke too early. 99 to Damon Martin. There it is. Direct hit might uh, just stop that 100th run, but he gets it anyway. So that's the fifth one-day international 100 for Damon Martin. He's first on Indian soil. And uh, his team is delighted. One over to go. Australia 282 for four with Damon Martin on exactly 100. Last over of the innings. And it's bowling. Ajit Agarkar gets a reward for some very accurate bowling. As you said earlier, he has been the outstanding bowler for India. But an outstanding batsman as well, leaving the scene. Getting 100 of 119 balls and sure he's going to get it a standing ovation. Great ball. Perfect Yorker. Well played, well bowled. The crowd appreciated. it. 2.82 for 5. There you are. No respite for the Indian batsman. I should be saying Indian bowlers off the mark straight away is Michael Clark. Reserved the hundred and the rousing reception he was given. It's scooped up in the air, Mohamed Kev should take it, comfortably he does. It's not the first catch he's taken. Certainly a simpler one. So Ajit Agarkar gets his third wicket as Michael Bevan makes another good contribution to his team. Yeah, another slow ball, stands up on Bevan, sits up. That's the best he can do with it. Case does it easily. Bevan out for 42. Now 283 for 6. Reverse swing and some spin or cut. Bumbay is up inside the circle. Protecting the fine leg boundary. When you're bowling reverse swing like this, it's a bit of a gamble having the man there. The Australians have uh, included a batsman who can bowl some left arm spin for that very reason. Bickle looking for a big shot. Kachin Tendulkar quickly on the ball. This could be an easy run out. I think the batsman is struggling here. Malanda has asked for the TV replay and he just gives a nod to suggest that it might just be useless to go for that verdict. The Indians believe they've got another wicket. And look, it doesn't have to throw this very far, less than 30 metres, good bounce throw, good thinking. Michael Clark not in the frame at the moment, and that will be out. Good piece of fielding from the Sachin, so Michael Clark will go on his way. 35 for 7. Brad Hogg has walked in, and I hope he's wearing some good running shoes, because that's all he needs to do. He's gone. What an over this is for Ajit Agarkar. He's finished with four wickets, where all his uh, other colleagues with the ball have suffered. He's uh, going to return to the dressing room with remarkable figures. But, factors, 50 overs have been bowled on the dot, the time of six, and Australia have ended up with 286 for eight, and this is the eighth wicket. Another lovely piece of reverse spin bowling right up in the block hole. Not the place to hit those. Their bodies and their thoughts together because they have a big score to chase here at the Wankavi Stadium in Mumbai. They had some early setbacks. Matthew Hayden gone for a duck with the first ball that he faced. Adam Gilchrist continued his adventure on this tour. 41 of 30 balls. Ricky Ponting had the best innings of the series. 31 of 37. But the, uh, the exception was Damon Martin. Great innings from him. 100 of 119 balls. Simons and Bevan getting important 40s. As far as bowling is concerned, plenty of bowling used. Yes, indeed, and perhaps the most disappointing were the spinners, uh, though Harbison's one for 44 was certainly tidy. 
Ajita Gaka, four for 37, three wickets to him in the last over, four to India with the run out. He was the best. He used the conditions beautifully. Perfect bowling from him. Unfortunately, the example wasn't taken up by the other mainstream bowlers, particularly the spinners. And Yuvraj Singh certainly did a good job in the all-rounders position. Difficult conditions for the batsman. But still, the economy rate very good. 20 wickets in 14 matches. And for Nathan Bracken, this will be the biggest challenge of his short career. Going to two players of this calibre in front of this crowd, this absolutely buzzing crowd here at the Wayne Cady Stadium. They did dismiss uh, Brian the Sebag in the first over in Gwalior. Well, could this be different? Brecken to Sebag. Good delivery first half, and he's given it! He has given him. Neil Malander had no doubts in his mind. And this is the last thing that India required. Stunning silence in the crowd. And the Australians are a bundle of joy. Bracken, a wicked second ball at Faridabad. This one pitches, goes straight on. No shot from Verinda Sawag. So, first ball duck for Verinda Sawag, just as Matthew Hayden had done. One wicket for no runs. And the birthday boy is out there, because India is off to a disastrous start. Losing Sebag in the first ball of the second innings. We would look to a big start from Tendulkar and Sebag, but wasn't to be. Devious Lakshman got 100 in the previous game. Another big one. But just the stride outside may have given him the benefit of doubt. But Nathan Brecken already looking dangerous. Well, it's a brave umpire that gives two LBWs in the Wankiti in front of the home crowd. Let's have a look at this. Doesn't do too much. Sorry, Neil, I don't agree with you. I think that sitting leg stump making a fairly big mess of it. That's uh, just as out as the first one. Very, very lucky the VVS. That might be the, the VV is the very, very. Very, very special VVS. Uh, maybe a word to get for him. And Brenda Sebald has had a torrid time against the Australians. First ball, not even attempting to play a shot, but I think in the end was a very good decision. The hit certainly the hit leg stump. What a way to start off as well for any bowler, and more so for young and promising Nathan Bracken. Dismissed Sebald in the previous game with the ball leaving him caught in the slips by Hayden. Well, in the first match against India at Gwalior, Bracken did not swing the ball back at all. Saw plenty of movement at Faridabad against the Kiwis. And here again tonight, there's plenty of humidity around. Generally good conditions to swing the ball. Bracken certainly bringing it back into the right-handers. Australia not over-attacking. They've just got the two slips and a backward point. Well, what a start, as I mentioned earlier. First two deliveries of Nathan Bracken. The one on the left is Sebag. Pitched in line, straight in. Hitting on the re-roll, but certainly would have hit leg stump. The hide was good. Stuck to his crease. The one on the right. Wasn't very much different. Very similar. Struck him in line, and BBS Lutton was stuck to the crease as well. But not two out of two for Malinda. Great start, none for one. Okay. Yeah. Brad Williams had a good game last run, four wickets, and that should uh, boost his confidence a great deal. Well, the whole of Mumbai and the whole of India will be looking at this man, Tendulkar. Gets off the mark, will look for two, gets it comfortably. was bowling to seven on the offside. That ball was well outside off stump and Kenzuka maneuvered it well. It was a fine leg for Australia. Fairly square. And the man just in front of square leg keeping Neil Mallard at company then a mid on. Kenzuka maneuvered that beautifully for a couple. That's glorious. 
Tendulkar is best. He often is when he presents the full face of the bat. Pradhya would love it. One would expect him to continue. Good scene from Williams, but no movement. Great attributes of Ken Dulkers batting is the ability to get the ball in the gap every time. This is only the second ball he's had a look at, the first full delivery, but that was right in the middle of the gap. Big appeal. I think the angle would have taken it down like side, and Chad Prakash is the kind of umpire. Off and gives addition in a hurry. Brad Williams. Certainly not very happy. He thought it was much closer than that. Look, well, just going to leg Boz. We'll get a look at the replay. Well then, that is not missing leg stump. I wonder if Brad Williams is disappointed. I mean, that is making a mess of middle and leg. Uh, sorry, umpire Jaya Prakash. Very wrong. And if you looked at the ball after hitting Tenduka's pad on the previous occasion, went towards square leg. Not too much of that in it. Plenty of excitement for this crowd. They had to wait a long time. Because the Australians ruled supreme in the first half of the game. Bracken's had success pitching the ball up. He's going to stick with that tactic. Try to bang that one into the pitch. And look, he's so strong, square of the wick on the offside at any sort of width. Well, he's very strong in that area. Was in the air. Brad Hogg was the fielder there. Previous Lutchman picks up a boundary. Every time the ball gets closer to the ropes, the crowd is excited. Good scene position, and he's a very risky player, VBS Lakshmi. Brad Hall making a whale into depth. He smashed away through the offside. An elegance personified is VBS Lakshman. Very strong in the area, as Henry mentioned a little earlier. So hard to defend the square of the wicket there. Just lovely use of the wrists. Wasn't a bad ball from Bracken. It had a fraction of width. That That's a glorious shot. A lot of time for VBS Lakshman. And we bowled shot on a slow pitch. We're going to ask for trouble. Short and wide. Gave him some width to pull it. Brecker wants to bowl a short one. He's got to make it about head high. Almost a straight pull. Quick hands again. The key to the great players. Quick hands. 24 for 1 after 5. He's gone for the hook, hasn't timed it well enough. Clear Brad Hogg by a long way. The Google's not very happy. He should be the man who plays around for a long time. This was never in danger of being caught. It's now in the outfield, the man at mid-wicket. I feel like to save a single. This has landed uh, more than halfway out there. It really wasn't that unsafe a strike. It's a much better one. Long the carpet. Looks for three. 
good running between these two. Well, the Australians have done their homework very solidly on Tim Dorkley. <laughs> middle leg that Lachman just picking up a couple. It's 31 for one. With the left arm angle hitting it behind point through cover. I, I think they're taking a slight attacking option for the bowls away here. That will probably go back over a wicket, I think. The ball weighs safe. Fortunately, Ponting was backing up because that had a fair sting on it. And that's what happens when you take the slips out and you take that attacking option away from the bowler. Very, very good batting. Clever batting. Didn't try to hit it hard, Devious Lakshman. Once again, the slow delivery, 116 Ks, doing the right thing. Waiting for the ball, playing it very late, realizes much of the protection is very square on the offside. The moment that he got it fine, it's had four written all over it. Fourth boundary for BBS Lakshman. If you watch the ball bat all the time, take the mid on off, have a slip there, have a catcher there. That's three past the outside edge. That, to me, says we need someone catching behind the wicket. Slip, gully, third slip, I don't care where it is. Brad Williams will bowl with some fire. Has been replaced by Andy Bickle. May not look to bowl as quick, but uh, very similar in style, both Williams and Bickle. They like to hit the deck for the right-hander. Good start. And there was some distinct movement after the ball pitched. Just wonder how much uh, lift he'll get. And gone. It's all over already. He's got a head of the Sandy Pickle. He's picked up another one early. Incredible. Well, aren't they excited, happy? And why not? And extreme reactions in the crowd, as you would expect. Now, this is a bad delivery to start with. This is short and wide. And Lakshman spotted an opportunity to score a boundary. Runs are difficult to come. You can understand the batsman's reaction to that one. Wasn't quite on top of it. 21 for Lakshman. He scored 38 for two. What a moment to come into bat. The stand-in captain Rahul Dravid batting at number four for India. With uh, India in trouble. 38 for two. Target is 287. There's uh, no need for the captain to be reminded the huge responsibility at the moment on his shoulders. The slip cordon has been strengthened, reinforced, a slip and a gully at the moment for Dravid. An interesting uh, three balls bowled by Andy Bickle. First one was good, the second was a wide, he got a wicket for it. Now you see the feet don't go and he's just gutted with himself, Vivius. He just doesn't go anywhere with the feet genuine sort of change of expression for Dravid just eases the nerves we'll get a few runs here when it rolls on to the practice pitches there's nothing stopping the ball here at one the stadium well Sanjay on about that calming effect from Sachin Tendulkar for his stand and skipper I think this will have a somewhat of a calming effect for Rahul Dravid just leans on this and no sweeter feeling and he's just found this in the middle of the blade and even uh, Michael Bevan, one of the quickest in the business, he can't get there. It's a uh, nice way to get off the mark for Rahul. This is not a good over. He's got a wicket. The ball is all over the place in this over. A couple of runs to Rahul Dravid. Now, oh, 45 for two. and drive to finish the over that is priceless 49 for two start for Bickle in a way that he picked up a wicket but absolutely no control over the line or the length in that over 
right there in the slot. Shoaib Akhtar is impressed. And Andrew Simons, can he impress? So down the bowl as little off breaks. Yeah, bowls a few little seamers as well, he's quite useful at that. Just over 51 day wickets. One of the Saxon Tendulkar. In! Just immediately taking that pace off, so here already we've seen a slow man introduced in the uh, 11th over. Hit very hard, didn't bother keeping it down. Brings up the 50 for India. No, you got to love it. Just has a sight. It says, I'll have a look at you, Andrew Simons, for one. And then the second one's got a little bit of flight about it. And the little master just goes downtown. Beautifully timed. Four more. Catch! Gone up in the air. Now, this is very, very lucky for Tendulka. He's got him two miles, no doubt about that. Was looking to go in the air again, looking to hit it hard, then the last minute was trying to bail out of the shot. Just try to ease back off it, because he just probably realised also there's a man out on the fence. But, uh, well, a sort of a straightish mid-wicket. Oh, yes, boy! Just in case uh, you need a, a reminder, there's still some turn in the pitch. Yes, very good, Sanjay. I used to even watch this myself. It's then suddenly Rahul got right across and thought, uh-oh. Closed it off too much. Again. Nice. Ah! Hesitation. Ah! Well fielded. It. it was all happening here in Mumbai. This is very unlike Rahul Dravid. He's a dependable runner between the wickets. Error of judgment. And I think the fielder did as well as he could possibly have. Tendulkar made it safely in the end. Oh, yes, Spin and bounce. 11 overs gone. 54 for 2. 54 for 2. Bickle in his second over. But that's gone up in the air. He's still got enough bat to clear the fielder of mid-off. It was a complete miscue for shot. Second time lucky in two overs. Tendulkar, that ball falling in no man's land. And it just screws up his face a little bit there, Sachin Tendulkar. I just wonder here whether he's decided that anything slightly short he's going to have a go at, and if anything slightly foolish, he's going to want to lair it down the ground. But, uh, unfortunate is favouring at the moment. Well, it's the target, you see, Danny, it's a big one. That's playing on his mind. He could perhaps continue playing in this fashion, but you know it's not going to be enough. Now uh, trying to reorganise. That's what he needs to do. He needs to do it consistently to get good batsmen out. Not quite seen upright, but uh, the difference that Sanjay Mandrake was on about just a couple of overs ago was that you've got to hit the deck. When you do, you make an effort and hit the seam. Andrew Simons continues, rolling his off spinners. He's found the gap. He's gone on to the practice pitches. This is for... And we saw a couple turn appreciably from Simons in his previous over. This one could have been a possible arm ball. Just sits up and says, hit me. As it was, it just went straight on. Rahul, no mistake. Ricky Ponting setting the example. Others might find difficult to follow. He's one of the very best in the business. Not quite the natural sweeper of the ball, but he's done well on that occasion. Gets uh, Sachin Tendulkar on strike. Now, Ricky Ponting played the last one-day international here at 1K, 1996 it was. And uh, Sachin Tendulkar got 90-odd, I think, in that match when India was chasing a good target put up by Australia. There you are. Steve Watt, 2 for 22 included, the wicket of Sachin Tendulkar. Oh. Now, Ricky Ponting has, obviously has a good memory, hey. so... Count your chickens. Oh. Well, if Walker is whizzing past the outside edge like that, then there might be a bit of chicken stew when we get home. 
That's almost too good a delivery to get a wicket. Just too good. Nowhere near it. There was quite a distance between bat and ball. Off the seam. Perfect bowling that. The good thing about the Australian effort has been their discipline. They've been on line, on length. And they're enjoying it. Oh, the Yorker, well dug in, well filled. Oh, great throw. What a piece of cricket. Back ball field. Wonderful cricket. Just take a look at that. Oh, that is magnificent. So good to watch. Yorker length delivery dug out. Immediately down on his follow through Bickle. Absolutely splendid effort. Oh, that's changed away for four. Half intended, half accidental. 66 for two. This was the last ball of the last over. Partly deliberate, partly edge, but got four. This is the last over when the fielding restrictions are on. This is that last ball, last over once again. But it fetched four. A lot of those have happened today. Sachin would be pretty desperate to get Andrew Simons away. Simons into his third over, just ten runs off it. He's bowling with those fielding restrictions in place. He's getting a lot of turn, he's getting a little bit of bounce. 21 of 35. That's with lovely stroke. That's how you play the turning ball. That's very cleverly done. Very delicate indeed. He tried using his feet, trying to get to the pitch of the ball. Couldn't quite manage it. Just paddled it fine. It's almost predetermined. A short, fine leg fielder played it very fine. No chance for that fielder on his right. And once you pass him, it's four all the way. Beautifully done. Great control on that one. Two wickets down. Chasing five and a half and over. In excess of that. Yeah! Once again. Almost a cry of anguish escaping Andrew Simon's lips. He thought he already had his man. But bat coming down at the last instant. Just made, making that delicate contact. It's the replay. This time it was the arm ball. He's entitled to get excited there for a moment. And a very good over for India, 74 for two. Brad Hall, the fourth option. The fourth bowling option that Australia will employ in this game. Effectively from the right-handers, rather than bend it in. This is an interesting time in the match. Mundulka and Dravid, tremendous players of spin bowling. I didn't. Not before. Well, no, won't because Andy Bickle is very quick around the backward square leg boundary. Oh! That's the one his wrong one, that's the one that goes away from the right-hander, which is the more effective delivery that Brad Hogg bowls, that's from the back of his hand, that's the googly, the left-hander's googly, that's Clark, he'll be required to do a job. In the air, but very well placed, over Nathan Bracken's head in mid-off, I think he picked the wrong and went with it, that was very cleverly done. They had him at long off there for Sachin Tendulkar. Brought him in to the single saving position and took a look at the shot. Reached for the delivery, got under it, didn't try and hit it hard. Beautiful follow through of the bat. It's that follow through, the straight follow through. Through the line. Great shot. 50 or 55 deliveries between these two. And another run.
I'm not sure this throw is entirely necessary. Long Hopper has to do the backing up. And keepers just occasionally like to test their arm out. Michael Bevins on the mid wicket boundary. You intercept a very well struck shot, and you get the feeling that Ravid and Tendulkar are sizing up Hogg. They might go after him in the next couple of overs. Bit off back on the fence now with Ravid on strike. He works out very nicely off his pads down a backward square leg. And yeah, now 90 for two. Ebony assisted by Simons and Bevan. Hustle through for a single. Tim Volker made the call quickly and set off. And from that time on, Bickle had all the work in front of him. Couldn't quite make use of the conditions. There was a lot of turn and bounce available to them. Edged, and that should be four. That's a good delivery. But played late, played with loose hands by Sachin. Again, part deliberate, part getting an edge. He was playing it late, wanting to let it run down to third man. In fact, very well done, very clever shot. Yes, that kind of stuff can make a bowler pull his hair out. But you know, I feel Tendulka. That was 95% aimed there, maybe not quite that far, but that's what he was intending. Great right straight. Deserved more than a single. Perfectly executed. Just rolled his wrists on that one. Didn't let it get too big on him. Came, kept it right on the ground. What a great shot, but you're absolutely right. Just a single there. But even he's getting a move on. Seven from this already of four deliveries. Got nine in the previous over. Things beginning to happen a bit. Well, trying to go over the top. A delayed reaction from Jai Prakash. Gilchrist isn't very excited. It's called for the third umpire. He just wants to make sure. Just a jump for cash. Oh, fair enough, too. You've got the technology here. And they've appealed. So why not? Oh, always home. Nice little inquiry, though. Harry Heron's upstairs. Getting to do something. Fantastic. Press the green button. Well, I think a lapse in concentration from such a point of view, playing down the wrong line. Not seen a great deal of turn into the right-hander from Brad Hogg. Very delicately played. Once it gets to the pitch's practice, which is going to be a boundary. And that brings the 100 of India. Come reasonably good time. Still that run rate required though for India 6.2. This is beautiful to watch. Might have himself room. And just the top spinner went on and skidded. Just opened the blade sweetly. The shouts of India Jeepika, which means India will win. Very optimistic, but let's look at the surface. Well, going by the strike, it's not bad at all. Second 50 coming marginally quicker. And they have to make sure that they don't uh, lose any more wickets. The pitch being on the slower side, you expect to pick up singles. At least three, four and over. Wait for the loose balls. The wise captain of the team, Adam Gilchrist, knows. Go ahead, hold to continue. Just uh, one of the weather report there. Oh, 
32 to 35 degrees at the start of this match. And then uh, humidity factor of around about 85 to 90 percent. It's a wonderful coastal city. Oh, that has bounced as well. We're going on about the cooker men getting bounced. But Brad Hogg has as well, and they'll go all the way, despite the efforts of Mr. Clark. Then Luca reaches yet another landmark. 63rd 50 for Tendulkar. That's quite amazing. He knows the job is not yet fully done. Fighting half century, a very important one at this stage of the game. The extra bounce, a bit of deviation. But Brad Hogg was providing the batsman with a little bit of pace. Great effort, great commitment. But Clark, the Tendulkar, yet another half century. He's got a bad ride through. Tendulkar. Just a little full. I could milk it down the ground at the moment. Dravid and Tendulkar just rotating the strike, picking up the odd boundary here and there. But he has to get a lot more than 90 for India to be within striking distance. Total control. Tendolf goes out of the blocks. Swift forward, just gone for 23. Oh! Playing with the pace of the ball. Nicely guided. Boundary to end the over. It's 122 for two. Realizes that many options for drives in front of the square, but the last three boundaries have come in this area. Playing on the pace of the bowler. Right. Right. Run, I want. One, two, three, for two. Yeah. Australia will count 145 for three, up to 25. India, 124 for two. Yeah. That's too short. And you can't bowl there, I'm afraid, Andrew Simons, because you will disappear. Something to cheer about just at the time when one thought Sachin Tenduka was losing concentration. This is the kind of delivery that would relieve the pressure a little bit. Long hop. The umpire had to take evasive action. Neil Melander. Smash this one too. And he spears the gap between the man at deep square and the wicket. He's got a very careful.
Pinto just wants to have a little look at this. Joe Pakash and Simons, pretty confident Australians, they're looking keen as. And so is Rahul Dravid. Rahul Dravid thinks that he's made his ground. It's going to be a tight call for the third umpire, Harry Harren. And direct hits. Tell you, can we touch and go? Ricky Ponting, the fielder there. Very, very tight one. I think it's home. And Dravid was home and just. Oh! A bit of turn. That's one important aspect of the Australian cricket. Catch! The draft gets to the big shot. Drives the gap in the deep. Always an easy shot for the left hander to go with the turn. Damien Martin, the fielder there, shots clear. Strikes them very hard, and this is one of his favourite shots. Yuvraj picks up his first boundary. Yeah, he played, I think, the critical innings. Oh. Get a run for that shot. Scored 44 of 33 balls, Yuvraj Singh, which was the difference between a score of 230 and 260. and perhaps the Indians might not find as many shots to play against the medium pacer on this pitch. It's been very interesting here, Phil. Played the fight, but there's a field there on the left side for that uh, specific shot. Yuvraj is walking. The club has picked up another wicket. And as you would expect, pin drop silence here at Watkins Stadium. It's not very easy to concentrate. That was a good delivery. Well, there was an answer for me when I thought Ian Harvey was a surprise omission. Well, Clark says I am the right inclusion. Yuvraj gone for 9, 153 for 4 India. But he is the man for India. They are in trouble. That's what they are at the moment. 153 for four. His first ball on Indian soil. Oh! He hasn't done too badly. And you brought him when you have a look at this shot, you'll see that he's finished his shot before the ball has arrived. <laughs> 50 to Rahul Dravid. He's played well. Got plenty of work to do. And he's 45 50 in one day cricket. Now, this man is not in good form, Mohamed Kais. They were on the edge of the seats, waving, cheering. It all has changed very quickly indeed. You've got to say, Dravid is playing a good innings here. 51 of 58 balls. And then they could perhaps uh, start really accelerating. Here comes another call. And this time is as well, a few short deliveries. And every time he's done that, he's been punished. What surprised me is Ricky Ponting. He's just not changed. And he went for 50 of his nine before this over. This is his last uh, in the innings. And he's gone on to bowl that bad delivery. It's not very easy to bowl on a turning track, Sanjay. You've got to maintain a good line in length, concentrate hard, which neither Simon Dalton nor the Indian spinners did. Because on a turning track like this one here in Mumbai, For a run. His belief is uh, can go in with one ball a shot and it makes a difference of maybe 20, 30 runs. But just like the security of 7, 10 in batsman, he's got another wicket here. Michael Clark is on a roll at the one Kenny Stadium. He's picked up his third wicket. And a very odd dismissal for somebody like Rahul Dravid. He's played the reverse sweep. He's gone straight to the fielder. Well, third wicket for Clark and he gets the reward for bowling well. 
what he's done is he's bowled a good line in leg, not tried much. 59 for Rahul Dravid. Ajit Agarkar is the new batsman. 22 of 10 balls in the last match at Gwalior. Oh, where a different approach is needed. Yeah, uh, wait and see. 172 for five. Who in the batsmen get them early while they're new at the crease. All of that. Not that down the third man. So what Bracken is doing is bowling uh, around the wicket to the right hander. He's not trying to swing the ball. He's got it crossing in his hand and he's trying to spin it. Nathan Bracken with his rap Lakshman on the pad. Both were the typical team of deliveries. There's another one. So there we are. They're falling like nine pins at the moment. Indian batting disintegrating very quickly. Like the pitch. Yeah, that's the six wicket gone for India. And they've really dropped like should do cycle stand, Sanjay. Touch one, all of them gone down. I think the selectors are, will have to do a lot of thinking who to get now in the middle order. Mohammad Kaif has failed miserably for a long time. He's gone for 10, 175 for 6. India. Big job on the small shoulders of Bharti Patel. Won a few games for India. Oh! He's got 6 goals of more than 50 in one day internationals. 100 to his name. 13 more overs after this ball. Oh! Bharti Patel gets off the mark with a sweep shot. The score moves on to 177 for 6. Parthi Patel on strike. Someone still there in the pitch. India now 185 for 8. Experience Anil Kumble. Comes in at the fall of Harbhajan's wicket. Hangs on in short on the tail. And saves him for that good for Bracken. Quite good. That's the way of the onside. Will get a single. It's 187 for 8. Doing 
Aguero, young part of the depth, picking up a couple. Oh. In and out. A single. Shot making. Oh, oh nice, nice pass. 194 eight. Overlock on. in the area part of Patel where we're going to be offside team in Martin's first one day international 100 in India they need to be generous enough to offer him a few loose deliveries on one hand to give it to Damien Martin for putting up the tough conditions as well second time Australia will be winning with a bonus point over the looks of it at the moment Great. Last over for Clark. The part of Patel doing most of the scoring. To the cutter. That should be good. Good luck there. All the way to the fence from the corner. Brings up the 200 for India. With the ability to bat and complete. Very often disappointed. Trying to pick up a wicket with his last over, dropping short in length once again. He's been coming quickly. The last one is lowest. And he's bowling. Fourth wicket for Michael Clark. His first opportunity to try and show the eyes that he's made full use of it. Just try to smoke this over the fence. <coughs> it's hit oh, just over halfway up middle stump, so huge risk. Didn't come off. Kumble, he has to go for six. India now 200 for nine. Up, up. Zaid Khan, the last man in. The last ball of uh, Clark's tenth over. It's about four for 38. Signal runs. Nathan Brad and Brad Williams. Well, they perform straight away. Certainly do with them. Left arm swing. He's one bowler that does swing it consistently. Oh, that's a beauty. It really is. Another day, they were ripped out off stump. There's effort at One Kelly Stadium. Oh, but that was, I think, of the glove. Brad Hawk uh, almost got a wicket there. Adam Gilchrist, had a great time. Especially the ball that come off the gloves. Yes, unfortunately for Brad Hawk and Adam Gilchrist, it deflected down just a little. For somebody like Zahir Khan, you can always give the instruction. Oh, in! And hope they have fallen to the tee. Closer to the target of 228. Good to admire the crowd here at the One Kelly Stadium. You can see that you can clearly see where India have faltered. Not too many beginnings. <laughs> look for two party Patel. Man of the match in the last match, Brad Williams. Too many up the square. Right? Slow walk back to the pavilion. Nice tip shot, but straight to the field up. 
That's it. Curtains are down on India. Australian captain is happy. After that win against New Zealand, they have sought vengeance against the team that beat them in Gwalior. It was India winning comfortably in Gwalior in that daylight match. Today it's Australia's turn to win comfortably against the same opposition. It's a comfortable win, but a very important one. They've halted the momentum that India began in Gwalior with a good win on the home territory in conditions that should have suited India more than Australia. So this is a big win for lots of reasons, not just in the context of the tournament. Two hundred and nine is what India end up with, chasing a stiff target of two hundred and eighty seven to win. Once Payne Wilker departed and after Rahul Dravid followed him quickly, there were no hopes at all. Interesting bowling card for the Aussies Rack and once again in very good form. Reconfirmation of the